at Windsor Castle, parading in front of the Queen in glorious spring sunshine and receiving a new coat from the Irish President. Today, he's here in a rather overcast banger, meeting a very different audience. <laughs> and Donald the mascot wasn't alone. His handler, who's from Belfast, also travelled overnight to Bangor after yesterday's history-making ceremonials at Windsor Castle. You make a stronger connection with the, the President of Ireland as opposed to, say, the, the President of the United States. There's, there's that Irishness, being from an Irish regiment. When the Irish Army first got their mascot uh, 78 years ago, they were struggling to get a jacket for it for a ceremony down in Dublin. The Irish Guards had one in the store, so we kindly donated it to them, and 78 years later, they have repaid the, the favour. The Wolfhound was proving the star attraction at today's recruitment drive. He's still not fully grown, but his handler says this is one dog that will measure up to the job. Mervyn Jess, BBC Newsline, Bangor.